the search for victims here in Kerr County has reached a dire point. See if we can get like 30 feet in and get about right here. I want to be where you're at right now. I can try here real quick. With more than 170 people still missing, the search for victims of the devastating flood in Kerr County has entered a critical and desperate phase. And I wanted to get a clear view of the rest of the concrete wall that's cleared. Yeah. That way I could see if it was marking anything else, but it's only marking that single spot. The Gulf Search and Rescue Team is the only crew using artificial intelligence to scan beneath the surface, searching for signs that could indicate the presence of human remains. So these first scans, these are the last scans on this left side, side yes, sir. yeah. So you could see it marking off this wall right here. So it marks on that better than it does when there's debris there then? Yes, sir, because that sonar is able to get straight to it. Okay. Instead of go. That's why I was saying, if there's something in debris, it's going to be harder to... To, to, to see it, yes, sir. unless it's in front of the debris. Yes, sir, exactly. So if a human's against the concrete, say held there by current, mm -hmm. it'll still show the human and not just the concrete like bowing out like it might be broken yes, or something? Yes, sir, here I'll show you, look. Search teams like Golf are zeroing in on the towering debris piles, believed to be concealing the bodies of those still unaccounted for. So we got approved to come and search this dam and we wanted to scan it with sonar. And the sonar that we're using is, it's called the Aqua. It's an active son handheld active sonar device that uses AI um, targeting technology to help find and recover victims of drownings. When it's scanning, what it'll do is it'll it'll send a sonar cone out. It'll come back. The AI interprets it and lets you know if there's if there's a possibility of a of a body or if there is a body. Brown. Yes, sir. Right off that dam, you have like that white log. Okay. Cody Gould is 26. Right at that and the only person here operating this AI-driven sonar technology to help bring the missing home. So I was scanning, scanning, didn't get any possibilities, didn't get any hits on anything, except when we got to the south side of the uh, dam. I say we searched. I kept hitting on one spot. It was telling me it's a possibility. It wasn't telling me it was absolutely certain, but it was letting me know that, hey, this is, this is concerning. This could be something. Don't just disregard it, essentially, is what it was telling me when I was reading the scans. So. I hit on it 10 or 15 times and we got divers out here just to check because we don't want to leave any stones unturned. Despite the dangerous undercurrents, scuba divers from the Austin Police Department geared up and volunteered to make the risky descent into the floodwaters. People really don't under, they don't really understand the gravity of of the situation. I think two days ago when we got done with our searching, there was a, the number was at 60, and then yesterday went up to 161, 162. I've never been on anything this bad. Like I've searched for bodies and stuff, and but nothing like this. I don't feel like there's really any words to describe of how it feels to know that that many people and that many families don't have, possibly don't have their loved ones at home with them. There's a storm rolling in and conditions on the river are getting worse. And so the incident command here in Curve Hill is called an all call, which means all search and rescue crews have to get off the river. So the Gulf search and rescue team are gonna have to leave this for now. And they're just not sure if there's a body down there or not. The divers are only able to go down three feet and the AI sonar reading was showing that the mass was down at six feet. And the current is so bad underneath that there very well could be a body under there. And these guys are gonna to have to walk away right now not knowing. And I know how tough that is for them. This is Michael Anthony Adams, Scripps News Group, Kerrville, Texas.